my name is Danielle Katz, and today I'm going to be presenting on the calc function in CSS. Uh, so today what you'll learn is what this calc function is, um, how you can use it, and where you can use it, so what browsers support it. Uh, so first of all, what is uh, this calc function? So it looks like this. Um, it's a function you can use in CSS, which is not normally what you do in CSS, but you could actually set it as a property. Uh, so for example, you could set, set it to width or height. Um, and what's really cool about it is you can mix different units. So you can mix percentages, pixels, view heights, EMs. Um, and you can also combine addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Uh, you can nest these calc components, and uh, you can put multiple um, calculations in it and uh, establish ca computation order with uh, parentheses. So uh, it's a little bit nitpicky with the formatting of it. So um, the Addition and subtraction signs need to be uh, need to have spaces on either side of them. So you can see in these first two examples, um, the plus or the minus sign uh, is right up against um, the two numbers uh, before and after. Um, the third example is a little more tricky. So, so uh, you can see in this third example, there's a small space between uh, calc and the first opening parentheses. Uh, that actually won't be valid. So make sure to check that before um, I was trying things out and it wasn't working, uh, but it was just because of the formatting. So um, how can we use this? So this is actually a really useful tool. Um, so I'll go through each of these in more detail, but uh, we can use it for setting minimum margins, centering objects, uh, doing responsive design, uh, doing color gradients, uh, setting uh, gutters, and uh, for item placement. So with minimum margins, I, I find this as one of the most uh, useful uh, ways we can use calc. Uh, so if you want to bring in your, uh, your text or everything on your page just a little bit, or you want to set specific margins for it, uh, you can do a calc of 100%. So basically that's saying 100% um, minus 50 pixels. So it'll bring everything in 25 pixels on either side. Um, and it's as easy as that. Um, what's nice about that, as opposed to setting your width to just 80%, is if you're bringing it in to, to smaller screens, the margins will be static. So they won't like grow and, and shrink, depending on the size of your browser. Um, and then the second thing, margin, uh, setting the margin zero auto, that centers it. So um, if we just had that width, it, it might be offset. Um, so, so that's really cool. Uh, centering objects, so you can see a little calc man there, um, is centered on the page. So what you do is you uh, set your padding left of 50% and then subtract half the width of the element. So um, same thing goes with height. You put padding top of 50% so, or 50 view height, so like bringing it to the center of your page, and then you bring it up just so like half of, half of the height of the element. Um, uh, the, another thing is responsive design. So, um, so it's not necessarily making your website more responsive, but just not having to use crazy numbers like 16.667 or 33.3333. Uh, you can just do calc of 100% divided by whatever you want to divide it by. So if you want like three columns on your website, you can divide it by three, by six, and you could set variables for those um, as we learned in our CSS lecture. Uh, color gradients. So um, you might be saying like, well, the without calc looks a lot simpler than the with calc option. Um, but conceptually, using calc for uh, color gradients makes it a lot easier. And I'll, I'll show an example in just a second. But um, using HSL, HSL values, so hue, saturation, and luminosity, um, we, can, uh, we can see that it's, the hue is going up by 60 in each line there. So in this example here, let me just bring this over so you can see a nice rainbow gradient there. Um, and if we change this to like 30 in each of these lines, it's going to be 
a more gradual gradient. And so what's also nice is if you set that number to be a variable, you can just change that variable and, and see everything change. So let's see, kind of looks nice. Um, so. Uh, the other thing you could do with calc is set fixed gutters. So let's say I want two, uh, two boxes on a website. Um, I can have them be equal width or set, set different widths on them. So you can see for the first one, I set the width as 40%. Um, and have, I have a 1 EM margin on it. And then the second box, I use calc. And I set calc to 60%, so basically it would take up everything, minus that 1 EM. So leaving that 1 EM of space in the middle. So I think that's also pretty cool. Um, item placement. Uh, I don't know if you guys have tried to put something on the bottom right of an element or of a page, but it's pretty difficult. You don't know how big the page is. Uh, so again, calc makes it really easy. That's my dog, Vinny, hiding under a couch. You can't really see. But, <laughs> um, but basically, you set the margin top of 100% minus the height of the element. And if you want to add some padding, you could add a, a little more. And then margin left of 100% minus the width of the element. Um, so going into browser support, uh, this is mostly supported across all browsers. Opera Mini is the one that's not uh, doesn't support Calc yet. Um, one way you could overcome this is technically you could put, um, as we learned, like uh, CSS will look at the bottom uh, first when it's looking at a document. So technically you could put in two width and height properties. So going back to that margin example, you could put width of 80%. So if you're on an Opera Mini, it'll have those non-static margins, but then under that you could do width calc of 100% minus uh, however big you want your margins to be. And it'll use that for every other browser. So that's one way to overcome that. But it is pretty much fully supported otherwise. Um, yeah, and so if you guys are interested in learning more, these are the uh, articles and videos I uh, watched and read. So you can read that. But there's definitely a lot of other cool CSS um, uh, things in that you should definitely look into if you're interested. Uh, I didn't even know about Calc before looking it up before my tech talk. Um, Hal introduced it to me, so it's very cool. Uh, so any questions? All right, thank you. <laughs>